Hey everybody, this is Ted Check, Recovering Reporter. So here we are, day three completed in the Alex Hormozy 100 minutes for 100 days. Uh, hopefully equals at least $100,000. <laughs> I think he said per month too. But anyway, it's, it's 100 minutes for 100 days focused in on one thing, essentially. You know, one goal. Uh, you're, so you're dedicating 100 minutes um, to that one goal for a hundred days. So for me, as I've said before, but if you're, if you're new to this, uh, to the challenge, uh, for me, it is, uh, having a successful book. I'm about to launch a book. Um, and so I've been, I've been, uh, doing a lot of things behind the scenes and I've been kind of building up the hype to the book. It's going to be released in early September. So I've got a little less than a month to go. To, to continue to build up that hype and uh, just gather all the information I can about how, what are the best practices for me to promote the book. So that's my goal, to have a, a successful launch and a successful uh, promotional campaign for that book. So uh, one of the things that I've been thinking about, well, all right, I'll get to, I'll get to motivation and discipline in just a second. But uh, so that, so as far as what I, I've been doing specifically, like today, it was, I, I believe I shot one video for, for YouTube because I want to I wanna, uh, continue to increase my subscriptions on YouTube because that's going to help me promote the book. But also I've been doing a lot of work uh, watching videos, um, kind of like a small obsession, if you will, of mine where I've been trying to just absorb, like a sponge, as much information as I can on how to uh, market slash promote, to me it's like the same thing, uh, your book, my book, um, anyone's book. So, you know, I've been just, just watching as many videos as I can and then taking notes on those videos, kind of what uh, resonates with me, because there are just so many things to do uh, and, and there's a tendency to want to do all of them. And I want to be careful not to fall into that trap. So I've been kind of cherry picking what sounds good, you know, what, what I feel that, uh, is within my capabilities, what I can do for this book. Um, so I've been watching those videos, you know, whether it's marketing on TikTok or the other various social media platforms, um, you know how how to work with with uh, uh, Amazon, um, you know, and the list goes on and on. So so I've been digging into uh, you know the different forms of advertising, whether it's uh, Amazon ads or there's another place called BookBub. Yeah, that's book and then bub, uh, like what Vol Wolverine likes to say. Hey bub, look bub, you know BookBub. Anyway. So that that was today. It was it was mainly uh, conducting a lot of research on how to market and promote uh, the book. And but the, here, here's something that I wanted to get into because it's it's something I think about from time to time, and that's motivation versus discipline. And there's uh, there's a lot there's a lot that's been said and written about motivation versus discipline. I like this this chart right here. So motivation serves as the initial spark that ignites action, whereas discipline requires self-control, focus, and willpower. Yeah, I like that, you know, because, because I, th I think it starts with the spark. It starts with the motivation, and then you kind of have to cross a plane into discipline. Uh, so motivation comes from the desire. So we're talking about emotions here. Uh, motivation comes from the desire to achieve goals and fulfill aspirations. Whereas discipline establishes routines and habits for sustained progress. Yeah. So you do think, you know, it's that old saying about, you know, do something X number of times and it becomes a, a habit. And that's what I'm hoping will happen with, with this uh, 100 minutes for 100 days challenge is that I continue to do it. I can already feel it even at day three. I can already feel it becoming a habit for me. Uh, first you do the work, then then I do the vi the video, uh, talking about the work, and just rinse and repeat. Uh, motivation 
provides a temporary boost of enthusiasm and energy. Yeah, see, again, it, it's, it's built on emotion. Whereas um, discipline helps overcome obstacles and persevere through challenges. So we can go on and on through all of these. I, I, I like the last one here. Motivation needs discipline to get difficult things accomplished. But discipline doesn't need motivation to work toward our goals. So that's interesting. It's not a symbiotic relationship. Motivation needs discipline. Discipline doesn't need motivation. And, you know, uh, if I were to think about it, and I don't think this is an original thought in any way, but the, the way that I look at motivation versus discipline is, is that um, motivation, uh, now let me see if I can get this right here. Okay, discipline is what you need. Discipline comes into play when you don't feel like doing something. Discipline is what you channel, what you tap into to do something even when you don't feel like it. And motivation only comes into play when you feel like it. So it's it's the emotional quotient. That's what motivation is. Mo motivation is driven by emotion. See, it's motivation, emotion. See, it's very similar. Uh, but discipline is what you have when you don't feel like doing something. And you do it anyway. That's discipline. Um, but, you know, it, it's, uh, I would say that discipline is more important, but motivation, I think, but I think discipline stems from motivation. So, so, so motivation begats, uh, I guess it, if I'm using that right, uh, discipline is birthed from motivation, but then discipline doesn't need motivation. Motivation needs discipline. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I think it does. It makes sense to me, in my mind. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I just I kind of wanted to go over that a little bit, um, you know, because uh, because I've often thought about motivation and discipline, and and I thought about discipline in the sense of well, if I'm disciplined in one area in life, it doesn't necessarily cross over into all areas of life. I think you you have to start from the beginning for each area that you want to harness discipline. So for example, working out. I'm disciplined. I'll go to the gym. <laughs> I can't even snap. Uh, one of my fingers is sprained. But I'll go to the gym uh, even when I don't want to. No problem. 100%. Right? That's discipline. But um, when I was writing my book, I'm, I'm kind of through the writing. We're, we're in the final stages of the editing. But when I was writing it, there were times when uh, when I couldn't uh, kind of harness that discipline, I found it difficult, and so I, I, I you know I wouldn't write. I, I couldn't. I wasn't as consistent as I, looking back on it, as I should have been. So my discipline wasn't at the optimum level, like it is for when I go to the gym. So I think discipline is something that doesn't automatically carry over into other areas of your life. I think you have to. Uh, you got to work at discipline in each area of your life. Um, it's like starting all over again. It ain't like riding a bike where you where you remember, uh, or well, it's like starting all over again. I guess that's a, that's the best way that I can put it. With discipline, um, you you've got to approach it on an individual basis for for each part of your life. I'm going to be disciplined about. Going to the gym, I'm going to be disciplined about my diet. I'm going to be disciplined about writing. I'm going to be disciplined about my day job. Uh, disciplined about hanging out with my family. And the list goes on and on. You've got to take each one separately and, and work on that discipline. It's not just going to cross over naturally, organically. So there you go. Uh, yeah. So now here we are uh, up to the weekend, and uh, so so my plan is on Saturday and Sunday I'm going to be doing even more than 100 minutes because I I have the time. Um, I'm not um, I'm not doing my Monday through Friday day job, um, so I've got a little bit more time. So I'm going to dedicate a little bit more time, and hopefully get more things done. That's the idea, right? That's what we want to do. Um, you know, it's like when I when I uh, 
get off work on Friday. I look at the weekend as just, uh, you know, endless possibilities. That's the way I look at the weekend, you know, because it's because it's more you get you got more free time, generally speaking. So the possibilities are endless uh, as to what can happen, what you can do at that time. Do you want to work around the house, you know, do do some stuff, clean up and, and just maintenance or whatever, uh, work around the house, go to the gym, hang out with friends, hang out with family. Um, you know what I mean? The, uh, do some side gigs. Possibilities are endless. There you go. Uh, all right. So, um, yeah, uh, here we are woof, at, over the 10 minute mark. Um, that doesn't happen too often anymore. But anyway, I think I've gone on long enough about uh, motivation and discipline. And I, I, it's definitely discipline is definitely motivation is what got me to start the uh, 100 minutes for 100 days challenge. And discipline is what's going to keep me going on the path and uh, reaching the finish line. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts, and I will see you tomorrow.